Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Winter Survival, part of my Let's Play series. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So, what I want to do today is I want to take you out to a zone because I think it's a good time to sort of go through this and, you know, especially through my game stage as well, I think this would be a, um, a suitable time to check it out. So, we are going to head out. But before I do, I just wanted to quickly give you guys a bit of an idea on what I'll be taking along with me for this little trip. Um, so I've taken a few bone spears, I've got a torch, and I've got some regular spears. So with the bone spear here, you don't actually need to be a very high level for this. So if you guys can craft bone spears and obviously cook them, you guys will be okay and as long as you've got some... Um, basic armor i think you guys will be okay as well um some optional things if you want to take with you if you want um if you can craft it herbal soup i think it's going to be a really helpful um uh, uh food supply so i think you guys will be um utilizing that if need be if you can if not i think you guys would want to take some meat with you preferably obviously cooked but what what you're looking at here is i've got a a few spears and some normal spears as well in conjunction with the bones I've got a torch as well and I've got the food there so I think that's all I'm gonna to need to sort of get started so we're gonna head out and um, basically head out into the zone that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today so we are gonna head over to the village of Burke and I think it's one of these zones that you guys may or may not have wanted to sort of see in the past or you know see me actually run through and have a bit of a playthrough so basically the basis of this um video today is we're just going to check out the zone itself but i also want to sort of give you guys the best possible way of getting into the um you know underground part of the village of Burke as well so it is quite easy to sort of do the top part here if you guys really wanting to do that first then you guys are more than welcome to do just that a few of the little tips here I'm sort of going to give you guys as a suggestion um, for now whoop, I probably should have not aggravated this guy but look it is what it is um, you guys normally take bones so I do want to sort of take as much and harvest bones as possible here but if you can, sort of um, navigate your way around here so you don't really have um, many of enemies to sort of um, try and, at and attack, basically. So I've only just taken out two guys. Leave the top part here. Because it is time sensitive, you guys should be okay with the way that you guys are um, sort of, you know, running into the zone and things like that. Now, I want to sort of get down into the lower parts here and sort of give you guys a bit of a run through and what you guys should be looking for as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of um, manage our way through, get through the decaying zombies here. I would recommend using a baked basic spear. You don't want to use your bone spears here. You really want to save them for other enemies that lie in this little dungeon area here. So... Um, this would be my best recommendation. As I said, really do not be um, too worried about you know who you've got over here that you're trying to attack and defeat and things like that. Even these little basic zombies here, you can sort of um, uh, get through as well. So the spearman zombie, and I believe there's um, this guy here, the swordsman. You should be fine. I don't think you should be too worried about that. You can pretty much get a couple hits in before he does his power swing as well. And the same thing would be said with the um, with the spearman as well. So I really want to sort of grab a few of these um, bits and pieces as I'm sort of going along. And I think another really um, good little tip here that I can sort of suggest, as these decaying villagers are sort of climbing up, try and hit them as best as you can. So the reason for that is this will give you um, a better chance of either getting a, a critical hit like that or um, getting a couple hits in before they turn around and attack you like they're about to do to me now. That is probably the best um, way of dealing with these guys and at least this way you guys can sort of move through the zone a little bit quickly as well. As you can see they're going to start hitting me now but I'm at least two shotting these guys with the bake spear and I would highly recommend that you bake 
some of your basic weapons. They don't cost you anything to do except for basic resources and a um, you know a few minutes of your time. But if you guys can do that, I think you guys will be um, just fine dealing with what's down here. It's really not much of a bad zone to sort of you know deal with and get um, you know get through it. So I've done it before. And I feel like this is probably going to be the best way for you guys to sort of tackle it as well with the weapons that I've got here. Um, for the minute, I'm really not going to bother about um, looting up too much except for the the fallen soldiers that I've sort of gone through here. Because I, I really want to sort of get in here as best as I can. And hopefully you guys will see, um, you know, you guys can actually see a little bit of the lighting here as well. Because I did want to, to uh, bring my torch and... Um, you know, just to give you a little bit more of a better, brighter, I guess, uh, video. Because I actually did this without a torch, believe it or not. So it was a little bit on the harder side of doing it, just to sort of navigate my way around. So yeah, it wasn't really, um, it took me a little bit longer actually. So yeah, I mean, as you sort of kind of do, you just sort of um, try and, you know, push your way around. Let's just get out of his way. Um, you'll notice that your player will always try and defeat the weaker monsters as well, or zombies in this case I should say. Um, so yeah, take notice of that while you're sort of, you know, mucking about in the zone here. Um, okay, so we've gone through that. I'm going to immediately put you back over there. And don't forget, even though that you've got the torch here, it still does damage as well. Um, so yeah, use it as a last resort is probably my best recommendation, but really I just want to use it as a bit of a light source. So right now I'm just sort of, I don't know if I can get through here. I don't believe so. So you actually need an iron um, shovel in order for you to get actually through those little bits and pieces there. So um, I think they're like iron nodes, I believe. So if you utilize, oh, just got the level up there. Uh, got some rope. Let's just take the rope with us as we are sort of proceeding through here. And let's just take you and oh, come on. There we go. And I'll just get you to come out here. Let's just continue to hit. Now I noticed that a little bit of, uh, of a delay when you guys are actually trying to use you know, these basic attacks. So it is a little bit annoying. Um, I don't know whether or not it's got to do with the whole ping um, issue that the game has at the moment. Now, I'll address this now. I know that the developers are aware of the issue and they are trying to proactively work on it. So hopefully, um, you know, this will be resolved in a future update, hopefully sooner rather than later. But I hope you guys can sort of sit tight with that because I know that they are trying to work on that sort of stuff. So I know I get a few questions about it. So I just wanted to sort of be upfront and uh, let you know. Okay, so this is one of the um, one of the guys I really would want to switch my weapon out to if I can. There we go. Oh no 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 no. Honestly, I, I wanted to um, uh, swap it out with um, just the the normal spear, not <laughs> so much. Um, swap out my heels, but you know, you do what you do. So let's just um, do that. And for now, I think I might need this for a little bit because there's a few of these guys over here. As you can see, let's just get out of his way and let's just continue to hit. Oh, before I die, let's um, heal up real quick. There we go. And I may as well make a bit of use of my food. And let's just continue. So you'll find over here, there is a few um, few of these big fellas here that you're going to have to deal with. And this is where I would use um, the train spear to actually take these guys down. Because if you use the normal spears, I don't think you're going to get too far. So oh, now you've got three of these buggers here. And they're really going to do another on you. So when in doubt... I would recommend that you guys would um, oop, take the high road because you're not going to defeat all of them all at once. So you probably just want to sort of back out here and try your best to get out of here. And, you know, 
it's not something that you should have to just sort of stand and fight and then burn all of your resources. You shouldn't have to do that. So this is why I'm sort of going to, you know, make my way out of here. Now, I don't know if these guys would primarily, um, they still keep following you. They don't sort of stop. So they do, they do keep coming at you. So like I said, you're best off just having a bit of an exit st uh, strategy, heading back in. They're not going to follow you thereafter or come back at you. So you've got the flexibility to run back to where you were. And then from here, retrace your steps, obviously, and try your luck. So we're going to do just that. What I'm probably going to do this time around is I will try and get one of them to sort of come at me. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. And hopefully I can sort of pick them out. Well, pick them apart one by one. That's the strategy. So hopefully you guys are actually enjoying um, this type of video as well. Because I've been really meaning to show you, uh, wanting to show you guys for a little while now on how to sort of go through the village of Burke here. And just sort of, you know, get a better understanding on this. I'm sure that a lot of you may have done this by now, but... For those that are new, I really wanted to sort of show you and give you a bit of a tutorial on how to do this. So, all right, we'll quickly run away. Very good. And like I said, you're just going to keep poking this guy until he sort of drops. And unfortunately, at this stage, I am losing um, durability in um, my armor, unfortunately. So, it is what it is. But if you guys... Uh, were to loot everything as you're sort of going by, you can in fact um, get enough materials that I've come across in my experiences to pretty much um, replenish or recraft all of your, um, uh, well, clothes. So if you were wanting to do that, obviously you just all that you can obviously need to do is Open up a whole bunch of these and you will eventually find um, all the necessary items and things like that. So things like that, you're going to want to grab. So like I said, you don't want to sort of grab everything all at once kind of thing because you're going to run out of storage. And especially what's down below on the lower level, um, there is another level. Yes, so if you guys were wondering, you will, um, will probably want to use the storage space accordingly. So... For now, I'm probably being a little bit over on the conserv conservative side with regards to that anyway. So um, right now, you probably want to sort of decide whether you want to go down there now or you want to sort of wait until um, you come back with better resources or something like that. That's up to you. But also when you're sort of coming through here as well, you will get some chances in finding some healing items just like that. And we'll grab some of those and take them along with us because we are definitely going to need some of that. And I feel like the this zone is pretty much set up for you guys to actually come out of here without really needing to have the need to go back to your home base. So take that for for you know for what you will um, with regards to that. I'm just going to read that real quickly. Uh, Smart can learn a lot of things when fighting along with people. There you go. Um, so just a couple of little uh, lore scripts that the game has, which is really, really cool. And, you know, if you really want to, you can just, you know, start eating food and things like that wherever you find it. But um, really up to you guys on how you sort of want to go upon that as well. So for me, I'll, I'll just eat what I can for now and, and just sort of make the most of everything because I really want to sort of conserve what I have on me at the moment. But it's up to you guys how you sort of want to um, how you sort of want to run this zone. So um, right now, I'm just sort of grabbing all the necessary bits and pieces. It probably is a bit of a time waster here for you know for some of you that you might feel that hey, you can just pretty much you know knock down this wall here. I do need a pickaxe as well with this one. So again, you realistically don't need to bring anything with you. Um, until you know until you get down here so um, so for example I can just grab like a bit of wood some stone and I should be good to go so a couple of pieces will do so that and that just need one more piece of stone and I should have enough to craft my um, pickaxe there we go and away we go with that and just on the clothing situation 
So we're going to need two, three, five, seven, and nine pieces of um, uh, cloth. Well, I'm calling it cloth. I think it's, um, I think they call it linen. If anything, yes, it, yeah, it's linen. Cloth, linen, it's all the same. So, like I said, all, all that you basically need to do is just have a bit of a squeeze around and you will find enough as you're sort of going along. So I'm nearly there. I'm pretty much over the halfway mark with that um, as well. Grab what you can as well. It is a good time to sort of do um, just that. As soon as you sort of gotten a, a bit of a pathway opened up and you're sort of low on your reserves there, you may as well just sort of start looting a few of the bits and pieces here. I'm going to grab that so I don't forget. And if you want, you can always eat sort of on the run if you need to kind of thing. And then you just sort of continue on. But as soon as I find three more pieces of linen, we can pretty much go ahead and um, craft up some new armor. If my guy walks around, of course. Um, actually, I do need to check out. Yeah, okay, I just need one of those, which is good. So I've already got that. Um, let's see, what do we have over here? So it's actually a good place to find stone blocks as well, I've found. So stone blocks is, and copper. You do find a little bit of copper bar as well, which is kind of neat. And all the scrap iron. So scrap iron is going to become pivotal as well, especially when you're sort of uh, making more use of the forge. And basically, you know, when you have to sort of start crafting certain weaponry and things like that, you're definitely going to need um, some iron. Okay, need one more bit of linen and I think we should be good to go. Uh, let's just head over into here. Oop. And hopefully I'll find something here. No, but I've got more uh, healing items, which is good. So I'll take that with me just in case. So like I said, you really don't need too much to sort of come in here to actually do a job here. So as soon as I find what I needed, which I have, Let's go ahead and craft up some clothing. Not only that, it's obviously going to keep me warm as well when I get out of here. I guess that's obviously really important as well. Um, just wait for this to do its thing. Oop, ah, backpack full. Well, there we go. Um, so let's equip, equip, and equip, of course. And I just need the top and then finally some boots. There we go. And now with that being said, even though that I've um, gotten all of my armor and everything ready to go, I've actually freed up some inventory space, which is always a good thing to do. And we are pretty much back up to full health and we are ready to go with the next part of this so if you guys really want to sort of um clear out as much as you can especially if you're not high level to open up these areas over here like i said you do need um iron uh, tools for this so iron shovel is what you need but i'm assuming that you're going to be getting a lot of um resources if you do open this up so oops, i'll grab that anyway while i'm here um i don't know what you dropped uh, you dropped some stone I kind of sort of like try to grab a few things here and there so I don't have to sort of double up. But even having said that, um, I'm sort of going to come back in, in here as it is. So he got me. That's okay. So I should be able to quickly get him after this hit. Very good. Uh, what if he dropped? And I sort of try and use certain um, enemies as a, um, a bit of a, a, a looting chest, I guess. Come on, you just need to get one of you guys to, there you go, come here. Okay, and again, process as, as usual, just continue to back out and go back and try and finish it off. There we go. Um, I'm just going to take all the interesting stuff for now, I guess. Okay. And I've actually noticed, I don't know if that's a glitch or anything like that, but you can sort of stand a little bit further away outside his perimeter of things in his little um, power attack. Oh, killed him. 
um, and still actually land a hit, which is kind of cool. Okay, and so I might have to backpedal here. I'm not too sure just yet. Let me see. There we go. All right. So we still kind of made it. Didn't drop anything that I really wanted. And what we've got here is just some nice little healing items here. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and use this a couple times over. And we should be reasonably okay. So let's just go ahead and use that. Go back up to full health. Now, like I said, I feel that this area here is quite optional. You really don't have to come down here. But if you really want to clear the space and everything like that, you're more than welcome to do so. But if you do that, um, you've got a lot more loot that you can actually take out and take home with you. So it is a good resource run if you really have, um, you know, the weaponry and healing capacity to do just that. But you've got a little boss there, which is the little red skull. And then you've got a few more of those uh, giant undead soldiers. So for now, we're actually just going to go ahead and leave these guys alone. Um, I'm just sort of kind of lost my way, but let's grab that anyway as we're sort of going along. And I want to take you down to the lower area. So I think I spent a little bit of time with that. So I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an, um, an idea of what you're looking at here. And basically, we're just going to run over here. And we're going to bust open this section here. So it takes a few hits. You don't get any sort of, um, uh, what do you call it? resources by taking it but anyway it is what it is continue to you know take down these guys here i take you know i imagine so just do that and then oops, some of these things and um yep there you go you got some pretty decent loot anyway so coming down here you're always going to find the better loot and Yeah, so definitely you really want to grab these chests. Okay, so we've got a couple of decaying fellas here. Alright, and right now you really just want to sort of cycle back and grab that weapon and just sort of try and take out as many of these dudes as possible and without getting power attacked um, yourself, but at least... Oop, come on. There we go. And I don't think you guys dropped anything, which is rather disappointing. This guy is really trying to trying to get up there, up these little stairs here. And there we go. You dropped something for me. I'll take your bone. And let's just take out this fella and then this fella. And see what's in here. You may as well grab a few things in here as well. What I'm finding is that all of these loots that you are getting as well, especially those little grubs, if you really don't need to eat these things right away, I'd probably take them if I were you. And purely so you can, you know, um, use um, all those um, heals there just for your little dragon there if you guys are needing to do so. Okay, nice. And especially you just want to double check what's down here because you don't know what you're going to get. I should take all of that and let's just grab him so yeah so take everything as you are so as soon as you get down to this main area here um, yeah stuff's gonna go down but what I'm gonna do is I am actually running out of inventory space I'm only just grabbing a few of these things just in case if I need it um, especially if it, the going gets tough as they say um, hopefully I can just continue to hit this guy he doesn't want to hit me which whoop, Back out, back out. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so let's just take this fella out. Come on, you. And just take out the little smaller fella. There we go. Um, you didn't drop anything of interest. Okay. So this is the main area. Here we go. So what I want to do is I'd rather take out some of these little smaller guys first. Especially if you have to hightail it out of here for whatever reason. And if you're not, you know, ready for what's to come, you guys can have a little bit of an exit strategy. So what I'm going to do is I'll just grab that and I've got some of that as well. I think I should be okay with what I've got here. I may as well just take 
one more meet and here we go so we have the executioner so he is the boss so let's go ahead and try and take him out Oop. and you if you can try and avoid his power attacks of course obviously you're not going to avoid some of his standard attacks so you really want to just sort of be careful in how you sort of attack him but also as I said whoop, okay just get out of here real quickly I'm just going to quickly do a dash up here he's going to take a little bit before he gets to me anyway so that's not the issue grab that and I'm just going to use a bit of that there we go and yeah took him out <laughs> you really didn't need to sort of um heal up but you know you got to be careful sometimes and you you get what you're after so i've got some pretty decent loot here um again you just want to take what you want and what you you know actually really need use your inventory management uh to the fullest as well just so you guys can get you know some bits and pieces here as well so you do get pretty much accessibility to all the loot down here there is a few decaying villages so if you want to preserve you know your um your better weapon then you do just that um and basically just continue to kill the remaining uh decaying villages down here and once you're ready you can pretty much leave here and exit the zone if you really want to and you can come back here and loot everything else. So this is the main chest um, that you guys can loot here. And boom, here we go. So we've got some pretty decent loot here. Sometimes you get other bits and pieces as well. But um, you do get these little nice little crystals. You get this little fella as well. So the skill crystal of the fire dragon. So basically... Um, you can um, increase his knowledge in various skills and basically learn skills faster and things like that. So you can do all that sort of good stuff as well. But pretty much I came in here with two normal spears and three baked bone spears. And I've pretty much gone through nearly uh, two of the baked spears. And, um, oh, sorry, one and a half baked spears and nearly two uh, bone spears. So... It's relatively inexpensive for you to actually run these zones and be decently rewarded for it too. So you guys can definitely benefit from a zone like this and pretty much, um, uh, you know, just loot the whole place. And you can pretty much leave here, come back out, and you're back at the um, overmap. So everything is all back to where it was. And if you want, you have a two-day timer there's plenty of time for you to come back into the zone and finish off any other zombies that you really want to sort of take out. Maybe do the other boss on the other side if you really wanted to. To be perfectly honest with you, we could probably go ahead and do that now. Um, and only because I've taken out the executioner. So pretty much, um, you know, you don't have to worry about yourself, you know, heading down here and, you know, taking or, you know, have any worry about dying or anything like that. So... Be confident, you know, don't be scared of coming down here. As long as you have the, uh, the right weapon, uh, weaponry, you really don't need to spend too much money um, on this. Well, sorry, resources, I should say, rather. I mean, you know, if you want to spend money on the game and support the developers, please do so, you know, if, you, if you're happy with the game and everything like that. Um, but I, I'm really interested in showing you guys on a free-to-play basis. And let's see who we've got over here. So we've got a large spear zombie. So if we can get out of his line of sight here, um, I could have sort of gotten away with it, but unfortunately not. But I should be fine if I just continue to hit him. And there we go, we've got another 200 XP. And did he drop anything interesting? Ooh, hello. What did he... So a broken spear. It's got attack of 16. Okay. I like that. And you got some pretty decent loot here too as well. So like I said, I've got a I've got a ton of time to come back here and um, and loot everything else up. You've got all the other giant undeads here if you really want to take those out as well. But you can. But you know, pretty much that's it for me. I appreciate you guys you know stopping by and checking out the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments um, down below. Was this helpful to you? 
Um, did this help in any way, shape or form? Please let me know because uh, I really want to sort of help you guys out that are trying to play the game and also, um, you know, give you guys some tips and things like that. So if you guys enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments. Drop a like. Let me know how much you enjoyed the video. If you can, share my video um, and reach out to other people as well who are currently playing the game or if you've got any other um, people in mind that really want to play the game, direct them over to the, these videos here and let them have a bit of a watch. Um, but also if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos and hit the notification bell icon as well. So you stay up to date with everything that I've got here. I play many of other survival games as well. So if survival's your thing, check it all out. All right, I'm out of here. Take it easy and I will catch you next time.